Thank you for joining us at Servant Crafts today. My name is Carla, and we're going to be making a winter baby girl's hat. Uh, the size of it is usually runs infant toddler, um, so not newborn, and um, it can be made for a boy or a girl. I will link the book for the pattern in the description below. We'll need to purchase that in order to make it along with, because I will not be giving the details of the pattern, but I will be giving some hints and tips that I have gathered because I have made this pattern uh, many, many times, and that will be helpful and will help you to move along in your craft a little bit more quickly and more smoothly and skip all the learning that I had to go through. So if you'd like to join us, let's get started. This is the lavender yarn. We've made a 16 inch band of ribbing, crocheted ribbing. We have evenly spaced, and I'll take these markers out, evenly spaced 86 single crochets around the edge of that ribbing and then slip stitched it together. So now we're ready to begin uh, building up towards the top of the hat. Um, these are the stitch markers that I used to divide the ribbing into four equal sections. And then I spaced out my single cro crochet stitches across the top of that in groups of 22, 21, 22, and 21. Again, much easier to um, figure out how to space 20 plus or minus stitches than it is to figure out how to space 86. So now we're ready to begin with the hat portion. I've changed hooks. This is an F crochet hook. Um, uh, this crochet hook happens to bother my hands this particular one. I don't know if it's the shape or the size. So I have added this um, ergonomic end to this hook. I will try to find it and put the link um, in the description if you have the same problems as I do. Um, I happened to select this kind of um, system to support my hands. I do have arthritis in my hands um, because I can use my currently owned um, crochet hooks and insert them inside uh, inside this, this apparatus here. I currently have a bunch of Kleenex wrapped around it because it makes noise and it clacks <laughs> when it wiggles around in there. Uh, Finny, what? Yeah. Um, this way I can hold this hook uh, much more comfortably in my hand. So we're going to begin the first row of actual construction of the hat. Um, I continue this row in my main color. I have not switched to the 
alternate color yet. After the slip stitch, I'm going to chain one and single crochet into that same space where I slip stitched. And this is the seed stitch we're going to do. And then chain one, skip a space, and go into the next. Chain one, skip a, a crochet, and go into the next. Chain one, then go skip and go into the next single crochet. Chain one, and we'll go all the way around like this, and then we'll change colors. And you are going to skip that stitch there and slip stitch into this next, the first crochet of your first row. And it's at this point that we're going to add this next color. And you go in for the slip stitch, pick up the change of color, pull through both, and then I tighten down the original color. And then the first thing you do with this next row is chain two. One, to tighten that down. One, two, skip the first stitch and go into the first chain space and single crochet there. Chain one, go crochet in the next chain space. So it's single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into the chain space of the stitch below. over five and a half, five and three quarters inches. They asked for five and a half inches from the ribbing to the top. So I've got a little over because I like to end with the main base color and so that in I just feel like it coordinates. It really doesn't show and it doesn't matter. That's just my thing. So now that we're there, I have left a long tail to sew with and trimmed everything else off and now we need to turn it inside out that's a section that I sometimes forget and you do want to make sure you're working on the inside now so we'll stitch together the ribbing just with a whip stitch with this long tail that I've left here and I'll show you how to put the top together and I'll put one right here at the um, you know stop and start spot right there where we tied off and then fold the fabric and I'll fold the fabric in half in true half with this marker end and this other end I will mark. Now I'll match the two stitch markers together. Make sure they're going to stay at their spot and then come out here and place another stitch marker at that part and another stitch marker over here on this edge. Okay. 
four stitch markers. And these needles are really nice for uh, darning and for stitching together your, your crocheted work. Um, they have a nice big eye so they thread nicely. I fold the yarn very tightly over the edge. Over the edge of the needle and then it usually goes right through. And for the hat, I'm going to start by, I have to think here, okay, by, I'm going to start with a stitch marker that is at the beginning and the end, and I'm going to bring it to the stitch marker that is just to the left or right of it, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to stitch closed this I'm going to stitch closed right here. So I've got a stitch marker here with the beginning and the end of my thread and a stitch marker right next to it. And I'm just going to whip stitch it together. Put on my glasses here real quick so I can see what I'm doing. And I usually do two stitches right there at that at that beginning and um, pull it through so it's kind of a knotted there to make sure that that's going to stay. And then I'm just going to whip stitch in each stitch. Closed. And when I get to the end there, I like to make sure that that gets a knot also. Make sure that stays. And then I have learned over the years to weave this end through where I've stitched and take it right back to my next wheel. So I'm going to remove my first stitch marker and now the second stitch marker with the very next stitch marker around comes together and again we're going to stitch through there and give it a, a knot. Let me just show you. You'll have to weave in ends again and finish that, but I'll flip it out for you. It makes this cute little top. Again, you're going to fold up that as a cuff. This cute little top, and on the inside, you've got these four pinwheels. There, they're all laying right. Which is what creates this cute top here. Then we will make a moss rose, which is also in the uh, book for the pattern. And we'll place that right here on the hat. I usually place it exactly opposite and to, the, to one side 
of the center back just because I think they're cute when they're off to the side, not right in the center. And so we're almost done. You finish weaving in the ends. You finished this really darling little hat. Here's how it turned out. I hope you can see the colors. The colors are lilac and baby pink. I know that in my camera, they're turning out the lilac is turning out a little bit gray. Uh, we did finish the hat. I put the moss rose on it and I anchored it with a little pink button. I don't put that in there. Uh, that allows the, the rose to be uh, anchored fully on the hat. We've turned up the brim. Here's the inside of the finished hat. And uh, I'll show you, here's another one I made that's currently, these hats are all out on my Etsy shop, Servant Crafts at Etsy. Here's another little girl's version I put in white. A very cute, a little bit heavier yarn. This yarn was a DK weight or a three light yarn. This was a worsted weight yarn. So you can vary that. You're going to get a slightly uh, different feel to the hat, but the hat size will be the same because uh, you're doing this hat by measurement in inches and not by stitches. I've also made a cute version for boys. This is my Captain America version of the hat. Um, it's also done with a combination actually of worsted weight and uh, DK light, light sport weight yarn. Uh, so it, it's got a good feel to it. Um, here's the seam in the back where we, not the seam, but where you uh, switch colors. This is what it looks like on this blue and pink hat right here. You can slightly see it, it is visible if you know what you're looking for, but it really disappears in the whole of the hat um, very nicely if you get that done, that uh, color change done the way that I showed you. So um, again, all of these hats, including this new one, are available at my Etsy shop, Two Girl Hats, and this one little boy hat. I'm thinking I'm going to try a boy hat in gray and black with a little Batman wing on the front. Um, we'll see. I also have made this hat. I just recently gave it away in baby blue and white. And then I added buttons to the uh, rim or to the, the cuff here. And I had buttons of cars and trains and airplanes. And that made uh, a cute addition. I just like to add something to the detail of the hat. It just makes it more special. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for working along with me. And I hope you enjoy this pattern and make it as many times as I did. God bless you today.